Hello and assalamu alaikum. It's Sunday and uh, it's around 2, 2 p.m. and uh, we have decided today to go to Newry, uh, which is actually the Northern Ireland, which is part of UK. It's not Ireland. Uh, it's called Northern Ireland. It's, 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 it is a part of UK, as I said. So uh, we have been planning. Even yesterday we wanted to go, but yesterday uh, actually I got my foot hurt. Um, uh, it had got swelled due to some reason on Friday. I still don't know why it happened. Uh, so I could not go or drive the car too much. So I made the video. We went to Houth. Uh, I don't know if you have got the chance to watch the earlier video, which I've, I should have uploaded uh, uh, around the same noon time. And uh, so today it's much better. I, I'm still having the pain, but it's much better that at least I can drive. I can walk a bit limping, but still I can walk. So really want to go it's a nice weather as per yesterday same today it's nice sunny clear weather um, so we thought let's move a little bit out uh, more farther than Dublin and instead of going within Ireland let's go somewhere just cross the border and go there um, to Newry I have been only actually once uh, like physically going to the Newry city I've only been once there uh, when it was I don't know four years Four year, five years back, Molana Tariq Jamil came there, so I just went there to uh, hear him out. And after that, I've, I've been to Northern Ireland, I, I think so, total three times so far. This would be the fourth time I'm crossing the border. Um, and so it will be nice, like just to have some fun, just to have some feeling that okay, we can travel our, a bit outside. Still, the COVID is not finished, so you have to follow the SOPs and you have to be careful around when you are traveling. Uh, but just to get the feel and getting bored of staying inside, inside Dublin, inside home, and to get the feel of outside, so uh, we have planned to go there. It will be a day trip because so far, uh, hotel and accommodation is not open, uh, it's still closed. I think so somewhere in June, middle of June or July, start of July, I think so it is expected to open that you can stay in the hotel and stay for longer time. Maybe at that time, maybe I'll plan a trip to Belfast as well so that when I go there, I'm going to stay one night, two nights. Uh, there is Belfast, there is Titanic Museum, there is in the further north, there is the giant causeway. There used to be a bridge, a, a hanging bridge or something, what it was called. I don't know if that one is still open because I heard that it got closed, that some people fell down from there. Uh, so, so there are some attractions in the Northern Ireland and especially the thing is that you feel when you uh, cross a border or something, there is a kind of a different feel and different ways. And uh, two things we already know that uh, uh, the two things we already know that they would be uh, miles so the distance change from kilometers to miles over there as we cross the border as well as it will be uh, pound sterling which will be used not euros in that part uh, so so let's go there and I'll keep making the video so I'm taking the M50 this time I'm not taking the back route usually when I'm going to Blanchard Sound was uh, like on the north side uh, from Lucan I take the back route which is actually a small road which crosses the river Liffey but this time because my destination is a bit far so I'm going via and, uh, M50 and there is a toll here uh, but it doesn't matter if you're going the long drive here. so hopefully let's see that uh, when I reach the Belfast uh, not Belfast sorry Newry um, I'll make some video over there or maybe in the middle as well Okay, so we are still on our way. Um, we just passing from Roda, uh, which is a city north of Dublin, and hopefully, uh, I don't know exact distance so far. It just showed that uh, Belfast is 120 km from here, uh, but we are going to Newry, which is the first city as you enter into Northern Ireland. Um, so when the next boat comes, I'll let you know that how far is it. So we are going to enter now. The boat says, "Welcome to County." Loth. So we are going, we have entered County Loth, we have left Dublin and uh, yeah that's that's how it's going, it's nice. Uh, there were a bit of portions where it was quite crowded, like lots of traffic but uh, uh, it's okay and on the right side you see there is a car uh, which is detecting the uh, speed, so a speed van. So let's see if, if some people have been caught so far. 
speeding up so its motorway here the motorway speed is 120 and so that's the safe speed to drive here it's not like in Germany where you can uh, speed up to any limit there is there are no limits if you have ever been to germany and you like speeding up then maybe you should go to germany because uh, they have their autobahn which are like uh, the motorways and there they don't have any limit so you can reach any speed which you want and i got the chance to drive over there and the maximum speed which i could achieve over there because uh, as uh, as a fun or as a challenge i don't know what to call uh, I was I think so around 220 to 30 I reach so which is quite high like 100 kilometer more than what you expect so I had I think so at that time I had 2.2 or 2.4 liter diesel car so and I reached that speed it was just for an instance and after that uh, I, I went back but yeah because as you uh, go over the limit of 120 you can really uh, feel the speed of the car so 20 uh, to 30 was really very high uh, 20 km per hour was very high speed honestly speaking so it was just the maximum i could achieve over there and after that i just uh, went back to the normal one so here it's 120 and i'm driving exactly at 120 km per hour hopefully and i think so i don't know exact distance how far is newry but i think so within the next 40 minutes i think uh, we should be there uh, i hope for a boat because i'm not using any gps it's quite straightforward drive from Lucan. you take m4 you take m50 then you take f1 and f1 should take directly to newry so so far i've not put anything on the gps and now i'm not using that so i'll make the rest of the video when i'm at the destination or if i find something interesting Okay, just to update, so it's around 2.36 p.m. right now and just I saw a board uh, which stated that Newry is uh, 12 minutes drive from here and 27 kilometers away. So it's not that bad actually. Uh, so this is the first time uh, after a long time I'm going exclusively from my recent home, current home location. So it's around 40-45 minutes drive it seems like and not that bad. Newry is not that far away. So hopefully we're gonna go somewhere in Newry. Uh, previously I went, I went for different purpose, I did not go to the city or for any shopping or something but today I target to go to some shopping areas or something because I have heard uh, because it's in Northern Ireland so there is some shopping area in Newry from where people usually go from Dublin side so let's see and explore, I'm gonna put the GPS on the other mobile because it's just 12 minutes away now and uh, let's see what I find there. Let's see how we think Newry is. I don't know I was able to capture or not, uh, but there was a board which said welcome to Northern Ireland. And so basically we have officially entered another country. Uh, there was no border, no nothing, and you can just guess it from just a small board. So we are now in United Kingdom and in Northern Ireland. So let's see. Now the other indication, if you miss, because there is only one small board, there are no border checks, no proper border. So you are become familiar that you have crossed the border. Is that when the next board, whatever comes, uh, the units will be changed instead of mentioning everything in kilometers. Usually they start mentioning in miles as I said so let's hope if I can see any other board which says that how far is Newry because as per the GPS it's only seven minutes away our destination so of course our main city would be I think uh, this uh, interchange from where we have to get off is five minutes away now so there is a board coming let's see if there are any units mentioned on that or not so it says Belfast A1 okay and Newry and one mile you see after one mile it's not saying one kilometer it's saying one m so m is one mile so you see we are in finally in united kingdom and we have changed the country so that's actually one of the beauty of europe if you have been traveling in especially in the Schengen zone uh, that if you are uh, crossing the borders of the country sometimes you don't even uh, realize that you have uh, crossed uh, a border um okay so let's uh, let let me keep the video on because hopefully um we gonna change 
we're gonna exit now and you can see the board uh, i can see the uh, color of the board as well because in not a uh, island usually our boards are usually in blue color here all the boards have become in green color actually so which also mentions okay so i have to go off from this point because somehow the other gps is not telling us the direction uh, not having the voice on so also you can see actually there is a bit of uh, i don't know the scenic change as well there are lots of these yellow shrubs or all around lots of them so they look kind of nice so we have reached Nuri. so we are getting off the motorway and so this would be you see the speed limit in ireland it's 50 kilometers but this 40 means 40 miles so now the limit speed is 40 miles okay and uh, i have to find my way out from here so i just put uh, my wife have put uh, on the gps a location of uh, a shopping center because we are not familiar that much so let's go there and let's find out if it's worth worthy enough to go there or not because as i said i've been here once but that was for a different purpose i went to uh, uh, listen to Maulana Tariq Jamil and this is a different purpose today it's just uh, kind of a shopping not shopping really it's for fun actually just to go out of our Dublin our cocoon area let's call it due to this COVID everything had been closed we have been restrictions so even the road is quite funny you can see it's a black and white road which is quite a funny road never seen such textured road before okay so some bikers are coming on the right side so nice heavy bikes and it's our destination where we want to go it's three kilometers away uh, sorry 1.4 kilometer away three minute drive so let's go there and find out till the, that time i'll keep the video on just to show you so here again you see this 30 so this is 30 miles per hour, uh, per hour. this won't be in kilometers anymore so the, it's a, it's a landscape in town, uh, town as well as you can see we are on top and we are going down i can see a nice church kind of building i had uh, let's see if you pass from there as well or not so hopefully we are in the center so you see that if if you could see in the video the units of uh, the charges the petrol it's 125.9 this would be sterling this won't be in euros anymore because in euros so far the, the our rate the fuel rate is going around 150 152 uh, yeah what is that okay so my wife is telling you see that building which is coming ahead of us uh, that's where we are going butter crane butter crane is the shopping center i think the name of the shopping center where we are trying to go so hopefully it should be nice uh, i'm feeling excited uh, because the purpose is not mainly shopping it's just to have the feel that we have gone to some other country we have traveled a bit outside our main home city where we have been locked in lockdown for many 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 months so it would be good so let me see that how we go there i think so either city or city either city or city or city okay i see the parking on this side so let me see because it says parking uh, one kilometer ahead so i think let's go from here and let's try to find out how we enter the parking because i see the parking on the right side okay the camera stand is a bit loose so i'll try to hang on it okay so this is the parking area and I try to park here I think so this is the parking I assume so okay let me park the car so we are in Primark right now and as you can see the prices have changed to pounds now so this is the kids area
so I'll go to some other shops as well and make some video as well just in case so just avoiding the people not to capture them okay so we are inside the mall as you can see there is sport direct and there are some other it's not that fancy mall as you would expect but it's okay there are a few shops here pennies and some other so I'm just showing you around so there are a few shops there is pennies there are dance stores there is uh, sport direct and the o2 because this is UK so we don't have o2 anymore but here we have okay so we went to butter crane as you can see we were parked here and then actually we came out and i just checked and the second mall is actually just across the road uh, i don't know if you can see or not that's called uh the key okay so that's another shopping mall and so we're gonna go there now Okay, so we are inside the second mall, the quays, as you can see, the keys, sorry. Uh, so we are inside that and you can see there are a bit of shops and there is Sainsbury, which is actually one of the famous grocery store in over there. Oh. Okay, so I was actually walking on the wrong side. That side is for coming and this is for going. So uh, the, the, there was a guard who was asking me to go back, uh, actually to walk on the right side. So there is Sainsbury. So let's go and check there. There are a few more stores here as well, as you can see. Okay, we have stepped out of the mall because it's a small mall. I thought it would be quite big or fancy. There are across the road, there is next, there is Mark and Spencer and this is their main parking and area so it is big but not as fancy as i would have expected there is next uh, so let's go somewhere else i'll try to look around to find some other place to see if we can go somewhere else okay so just to show what we are having we are having calzone actually it's a pizza actually folded pizza what you can call and let me give you a quick um better view of it so you can see um, we came out of the shopping mall and then we wanted to eat something so we looked for a halal shop so we found this uh, you can see over there at the back it's called pizza kebab european the kebab house although it was not written halal outside i asked the person because he was pakistani uh, from gujarat and i asked him so sorry so he he said uh, to um to order a pizza because that's their specialty so he, he was preparing this one calzone uh, style pizza and i had ne never uh, tasted before this one so i really liked it as you can see it's stuffed with cheese and there is uh, chicken tikka inside and he gave us some complimentary fries with it and with white sauce so so that's what we are having right now i can show you this my son piece is better to hold so it's filled up with cheese and um, chicken as well as some uh, wedges inside so it looks quite delicious and it is this is my second piece so just showing you what we are having today and uh, that's our meal right now maybe we're gonna have a second stop as well because i asked the guy and he told me two different uh, two more places to visit if we are here so when i go towards there i'll make the video so let me enjoy the meal okay so after the food quick uh, food stop uh, we are going to go to an other point actually i asked the person who was serving the food that if there is any interesting point to go and he mentioned warren point uh, that it's a nice uh, actually it looks like a separate town it's not in newry it's a separate town and uh, we are going towards there and there is a like a it's on the seaside so it should be quite good uh, he mentioned that it's a nice uh, location to go so let's see if we can uh, reach there and so i'm just gonna go out of Newry and we There are a few bits of church around. They were on, on the right side. I could not show because I was driving the car. And uh, I'm still having some fries while driving. 
So we are going from inside the Nuri to go towards uh, Warren Point, and it looks like like uh, Nuri is also not uh, on plain. There is some hilly area and some flat areas over here. <laughs> okay, so we have came out of uh, Nuri, and now this is this road is called the Warren Point Road. So I think so we're gonna drive here five miles straight ahead. So this should lead us to our destination uh, let's see how good the point is uh, the person uh, at the restaurant said that it's a nice place to go and of course we'll know when we go there uh, but but yeah it's it's a nice trip a nice trip so far we are in UK uh, it was not that far not that long drive it's, uh, it was about around one hour drive from my home so that's not too bad and the weather has been quite nice splendid so far and we had a quick stop at uh, not quick stop but we had a stop at Newry. we went to this uh, to shop two shopping areas over there uh, although they were not that fancy i don't know i heard a lot of things that people usually go from ireland uh, from dublin for shopping to northern ireland but honestly i didn't find anything fancy that which is worth for shopping it's okay to go just for fun but not really worth that you should be traveling over there so you can see nice mountains on the right and straight ahead so let's see i'll make the rest of the video when we are at the warren point okay so i don't know i'm still going to my destination but on the right you can see there is kind of a castle ruins or something so i thought maybe i should show that and on the left as well some castle remains so maybe it was a castle area and now everything is demolished over there Okay, so we have reached the Warren Point. Okay, so we are in the city now, and now we are going to the beach side. So let's see if we can reach. I need to stop on the side in order to find the location because I've just put the city name, not the location. So I'm going to, I found on the map a viewpoint. Uh, near the seaside so I'm going there and this looks like the main city center uh, there's lots of crowd uh, on the left side as well I could I hope I could show but uh, it's not that much possible on the right and left I see lots of people waiting and lots of people crossing so it looks like a, a good destination because I see lots of people around so you can see actually the sea is coming ahead of us so I don't know it's a bit dodgy the signal is I think so that's a pedestrian that's why so we have to wait here so this is the seaside you can see already the cars are quite a lot of cars here on right and left and maybe that is the reason the weather is quite nice it's quite sunny the temperature we have the air conditioner on inside the car just to let you know since the start of the journey it's 19 degrees celsius as per the car temperature outside so as compared to in pakistan over there like 20 degree or 19 degree is cold weather but here in europe because the air is clean and everything so if it's sunny and bright and it's 20 degrees celsius it is a borderline that you can go to the beach side so you can see the most of the cars the number plates the yellow number plates and the other format so we are in uk most of the cars are there but i've seen a little bit of cars from ireland as well uh, and so far let's see once we crack on with the the journey i'll make the video okay so we have uh, reached and finally the traffic has started moving so i'm not sure should i go left or right uh, let me go to left side i'm not sure actually so you can see the sea and uh, it's in, fr in on the right side now it was in the front and uh, let me try to find if i can park the car somewhere and show you a little bit and look at the car on the right the orange one the sports and there are actually quite fancy cars here i just saw a ferrari earlier as well where i was parked and having the food so some expensive cars you can see and yeah you can see the brands they are quite nice so these uh, you can see lots of car parked on the right so it seems like it's allowed to park the car not on the left side because there is double yellow line but on the right side you can park so i might uh, take uh, 
a U-turn from somewhere. But this is uh, where we are right the now, Warren Point. The and there, this is where we wanted to come because uh, the person told me this ni nice point. Lots of people doing a walk. Uh, let me see if uh, I'll stop the car on the side and see if we should go somewhere else or we should continue the journey. okay so i am trying to go back now actually um he uh i came to know of another place but it would be another beach site so i thought maybe it's uh, it's better to go back and park the car or have a drive on the car so let me go back so this is the same road where I was coming. I just went inside, parked the car, looked around, and then I, I thought maybe let's have a, a drive again along this road. And maybe if I like some spot, I'll stop there because there were car, uh, lots of cars stopped. So maybe there is something on the right side because I turned left. So let's see if there is anything else we gonna wrap up today's video and then i'm gonna go back to dublin it was a nice trip um the beach is here i don't know how much sand is there because i don't really see any sand and that is not the purpose because we don't have any proper costumes as well uh, i see a few families on the left side there is a little bit and uh, and they are but it looks like a rocky or stony beach not like a proper sandy beach uh, but I can see uh, some families there so otherwise yeah I'll make the video if I see something interesting but it looks nice lots of cars are here parked uh, so of course with the Sun and along the seaside you can have a nice walk as well yeah I can stop here I'm thinking if I should stop because it looks nice area over here and lots of cars have parked so let me try to park the car somewhere nearby and maybe we can have a walk around so this looks like an easy parking so yeah I will just go out and make a video okay I have parked the car and we are at the Warren point as you can see it's not a proper beach it's stony as I said from uh, uh, from within the car you can see it's nice seaside okay and UK we are gonna be UK would be I have no honestly idea it should be maybe that way over there so it looks nice so a few people are enjoying the sunny weather as you can see so it's they have created this path for walking and enjoying so the water level should have came come up as well and uh, it looks nice although it's very sunny it's clear cloud but it's it's a bit windy and it's cold wind so i have put on the jacket uh, i've kept it open but uh, i've put on the jacket so it's it looks nice as you can see nice walk area so let me go ahead and show you and this is kind of a pier they have created and there are lots of people going there just to view around um, I don't see people going in the seas uh, although there was a spot where I found two or three families going into the water but not that many because as I said it's a bit cold so it looks nice nice for a bit of a walk around and then we can go ahead back because this is the last stop I thought I would go to another there was Newcastle or I don't forget the name there was another city but it was a beach again uh, near the seaside but I avoided that because I didn't find that it would be worth to go there so an entrance i don't know it's uh, some chinese style i don't know why it, they have got that so i parked my car on the road actually but they have a dedicated parking here as well as you can see but many people had parked the car over there so i've kept it there so this is the proper way from where you can go if the beach is good the people would have been here but not that many only a few girls are sitting over there at the side so a ship is coming i think so that side is uh, not, not that side over there should be the UK because uh, this is kind of um, uh, if I have to tell you so if we go this side this would be Dublin so across this this is again this 
uh, Ireland and then we would reach Northern Isle uh, sorry uh, Dublin and on the left side so if we go that direction uh, then it sh we should go towards UK uh, but it would be a bit far it won't be you won't be able to see that easily so this is the walkway let's go there and find out and then I'm gonna wrap up the video so if you do like the video please do subscribe to the channel and let me know if you want to know anything if you have any comments and hope you like the video I'll make some last few shots and then we'll wrap up and I'll continue my journey back home now and that would be all for today okay just uh, before I close the video I went to the park nearby and they're very nice flowers as you can see they were so beautiful I could not resist so I was taking a walk in the center it's a nice center nice walk around that and these are look look at those they are very nice very beautiful flowers okay so there is a nice park here as well and there are not many kids left now it's it's a bit uh, getting late so this is the last thing we are going and maybe I'll add this part in the middle of the video but just to show that there are some entertainments here okay so there are some boats uh, some private boats we can see only two of them actually not that many maybe and that seems like a port uh, with lots of things and uh, there is a big ship so th it seems to be for for uh, what you say for goods good ship uh, loading because there are cranes over there and so it's it's a, a little bit of walk which we are doing and it looks nice so that would be all hope you like the video again and please do subscribe and share and thanks for watching take care Allah Hafiz.